It is a drug most commonly called the little blue pill, and most people know, Rob, uh, what it's used for. Uh-huh. Now some doctors at Cleveland Clinic have found there might be another use for Viagra. News 5's Nadine Abusada tells us it could offer hope to families who've, whose loved ones are suffering from Alzheimer's. In the state of Ohio, 220,000 people suffer from Alzheimer's each year. I think in the future, Alzheimer's disease, you know, should be treatable. But doctors at the Cleveland Clinic come with a sign of hope and a new study. So we take the idea we call drug repositioning idea. Try to find an FDA approved drug to treat other diseases may probably can treat the Alzheimer's disease as well. The study led by Dr. Cheng included a 7 million patient database. Within that, 69% of their cases showed decreased effects of Alzheimer's due to the drug sildenafil, also known as Viagra. We found individuals to take Viagra or sildenafil is a significant associated with a reduced likelihood for Alzheimer's disease. Which now brings their studies to the next step. I think the next step is we are, you know, highly active to planning a phase two, you know, clinical trial, randomized clinical trial. There are usually three phases in clinical trials, each taking six months to a year before the drug can be distributed. So I think we may probably can get a results in the next two or three years. If we're lucky. Due to their approach using FDA approved drugs, the process may go faster and will be different than other Alzheimer medications that are already approved. I think right now FDA have like five, you know, drug approved by FDA to treat Alzheimer's disease. But this kind of treatment is just the disease more, uh, how to say, symptom based therapeutics. Dr. Cheng is optimistic and believes Viagra could be their answer. I think Alzheimer's disease in the future is the treatable or the, you know, we probably come out of the drug or effective medication in the next few years. But only time and more trials will tell. Reporting in Cleveland, Nina Busada, News 5. Good stuff. Uh, Dr. Uh, Cheng says the same data approach could be used for other diseases like Parkinson's.